White Witch Parlor and today I want to go over the magic of Zebra Stone. It's a really wonderful stone when you're looking to bring in lots of balance and figuring out the balance between the black and the white in your life. There's light and dark aspects to everything and it's a really nice stone to have around especially if you feel that you're battling a lot of this energy whether it's now or you feel like it's something that's going to be coming up soon in your life it's really fun and important to incorporate zebra stone into your practice or your daily use so without further ado i'd like you to watch the video and find out more about this lovely stone zebra stone is a stone that welcomes an energy of contentment help you want to see both sides of any issue. It helps to simplify complex thoughts so one can see the black and white aspect of a larger picture or situation. Then it promotes an encouraging energy to build upon it. It inspires courage, motivation, and problem solving with issues that hold one back in life. It can lift one's mood and create a well-balanced energy of light and dark. It's highly associated to the zodiacs of Taurus and Gemini, bringing great grounding energy and also balancing that twin energy that Gemini carries so strongly. Because it is grounding, it is also tied to the element of Earth, making it a great stone to work with during any kind of springtime ritual or any kind of grounding ritual in which you want to encompass the energy of Mother Nature. The chakras that it's tied to is the root chakra and the crown chakra. The root chakra ties again to our earth energy. It is our tie from our physical existence down to mother nature. And our crown chakra, which is the polar opposite, which is our energy that is tied from the crown of our head to the divine consciousness. So this brings us the balance of as above, so below. you enjoyed some of the magical information on the wonderful stone as zebra stone and I do offer these on my website um, but either way you can find them sometimes they're in the form of jewelry sometimes they're in the form of obelisks or just palm stones any way you can incorporate it into the balance of your life is a really really unique way to do it I hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you over on the next one bye